Hi folks, we want to bring you a short video highlighting some of the exciting features that are included in the version 2 update to our 146 Professional in Microsoft Flight Simulator. This update and all of the features shown in this video will be available as a free of charge update to all customers of the product on both PC and Xbox. Starting with the news a lot of you have been waiting to hear, the UNS-1 flight management system will be included with a version 2 update. The UNS-1 features the unique interface of the real unit along with a plethora of features including manoeuvre support for holding patterns, direct twos and command heading functions, top of descent calculations based on target vertical speed, navigation monitoring, real time performance information, support for SIDs and STARS, a custom nav database that is updatable via a Navigraph subscription and the ability to import and export flight plans. If all that sounds a bit daunting, don't worry, we've created an in-depth PDF manual specifically for the UNS-1, which covers all of its features in depth, as well as a tutorial flight. We will also be producing a video of that tutorial flight that you will be able to view on our YouTube channel. The current working title ProLine 21 FMS that is included with the current version of the 146 Professional will still be available moving forward and the two types of the FMS can be toggled via an option on the EFB. Next up is the brand new highly detailed passenger cabins. Now we already covered the passenger cabins in great detail in a dedicated cabin overview video so go check that out if you haven't already, link in the description box below. But as a summary, we've created brand new passenger cabins for each of the 146 variants. Each cabin includes fully interactable forward and aft galleys with lighting controls, cabin calls and ground service electrical supply simulation. Since that cabin overview video, We've also went that little bit further with the cabin simulation and we now have a functional coffee maker that you can switch on and hear brewing. And it will also consume portable water as indicated here. These circuit breakers for the galley equipment and the worktop light switch are also fully functional. Not to be forgotten, one of our favourite new features in this 146 Professional version 2 update is the music player that comes included with 7 music tracks that can be manually controlled via the player itself or you can leave up to the cabin crew and let them play the music during boarding and after landing. Custom music can also be imported and played through the cabin speakers. Speaking of boarding, we have added new passenger and cargo boarding simulation to the EFB. This allows you to realistically simulate the boarding and deboarding process at the beginning and end of every flight, including several different boarding speeds ranging from instant to realistic. With the latter selected, you may be waiting up to 20 minutes for the passengers to board a fully laden 300 variant, but during that time, not only will boarding music be playing in the cabin, but We've also added new passenger boarding and deboarding sounds so that you can hear the passengers boarding the aircraft behind you. Users of GSX will be pleased to hear that we've also made this boarding simulation GSX compatible. And we are also including GSX profiles for each of the 146 variants with this update. Something we get asked fairly regularly with our classic airliners is, can we swap that modern looking EFB tablet for a more rustic looking paper clipboard? Well, that's not straightforward and it will require a lot of work to convert all of the functions of the EFB into a paper clipboard, but we have made a start on that process. Included with this 146 Professional version 2 update are paper charts and checklists. The paper checklists fit neatly under the clip on the yoke and can display up to 15 pages. The paper charts are stored in the charts holder on top of the glare shield and when pulled out 
rests neatly on top of the pedestal. There is options for up to 20 charts to be displayed and you can add your custom charts and checklists simply by importing PNG images into the necessary folder. The charts and checklists can be cycled through using click spots on the paper and the paper can also be rotated to horizontal and vertical orientations. This is the first step in a long development path for us on this subject, but our end goal is to have a paper clipboard type alternative to an AFB tablet for all of our classic aircraft products. Three new liveries have been added to the product, so if you want to fly the 146 on prototypical routes out of Honolulu, we have you covered with a Discovery Air livery for the 200 variant. If you want to fly some United flights out of Chicago, we have added a Battleship Grey United Express livery for the 300 variant. And if you want to add a bit of colour to your London Stansted operations, we have added a Buzz livery to the 300 variant. This video is already getting much longer than we originally anticipated, but there is still so much to cover in this update. We have a plethora of other improvements and quality of life additions, such as the addition of a hidden click spot on the glare shield to allow you to synchronise the heading bug with the aircraft's current heading, improve flight models for better ground handling and more accurate altitude capture, and improved cabin door, air stair and wiper animations. On top of all of this, we also have a variety of bug fixes and feature requests that have been reported or requested by the community. The changelog for this update can be found in full on the support page on JustFlight.com and we will put a link to that in the description box below. An updated 146 Professional Operations Manual, 146 AFB Manual and a brand new UNS1 Operations Manual will be included with this update. Make sure to give those a read so that you can get fully up to speed with all of these new and exciting features. As a reminder, this 146 Professional version 2 update is a free of charge update to all customers of the 146 Professional for Microsoft Flight Simulator on both PC and Xbox. We hope you are as excited to get your hands on this update as we have been to show it off. If you would like to see more updates like this for our aircraft, or if you have any ideas on what we could add to our aircraft in future updates, please let us know in the comment section below. A lot of these new features in this update were requested by members of the community, so we can promise you that your suggestions will be heard and that we will at least consider them for future updates.